We continue with a bittersweet opening night for Mannheim Central coach Mike Williams. It was his 34th and final opening night as coach of the Barons. He's retiring after the season. Barons won 21 district titles under Williams. Tonight, they hosted backyard neighbor Warwick. On the very first play of the game, Mannheim Central's Anthony Stafari finds Tucker Ford. That picks up 20 yards. On the very next play, Tyler Martin takes the handoff, turns the corner, and races 40 yards. Barons are on the board. On Mannheim's next possession, they keep it going. Damon Camacho right up the middle, sneaks through, and is gone. 50 yards. The Barons give Mike Williams another opening night victory, 42-6, the final. The river rivalry between Columbia and Eastern York. Tight game in the second half when Eastern goes to the ground game, giving it to David Leibelsberger. He breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle, and goes in from short distance. Knights are up by two touchdowns. Fourth period, they stay with their moneymaker. They give it to Leibelsberger again, and he does it again. Off the right side, squirting through, breaking down the sidelines for a 60-yard score. What a night for this young man, and he was not done. Later in the game, who else? Leibelsberger up the middle this time. Another 60-yard TD. This kid was unstoppable. 16 carries, 275 yards. Eastern rolls 35 to 14. All right, back now to Barbara Barr in Mid Penn Country. Barbara. That's the Bishop McDevitt marching band with some nice dance moves as well as a tune to Apache. Well, in addition to this big game tonight, there was another big game not far away. It was Milt Hershey taking on CD East. The Panthers looking to pick up where they left off in a playoff year last year, driving late in the first half. It's Justice Jacobs to Travis Carney's second TD reception of the evening. It's 33 0 TD East over Milton Hershey at that point. And then the Panthers threatening again, but this time Amir Manning comes up with the interception at the goal line to support that drive. We go to the second half, and the Panthers with the backup quarterback in, Jihad Nybauer. And here he looks a little like Jihad football as he's scrambling around to the left to the right. It's going to be officially an 11 yard first down run, but he ran about 40 yards in the process. And that would set up a Sean Orlando field goal as CD East with a big win over Milton Hershey, 36 to 7. All right, you all know that tune, of course. It's the play song here at Bishop McDevitt. They've had a big night and a big to bring that momentum from last year's playoff win into this year. So for now, we'll send it back to you. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Red Lion cheerleaders. The team celebrating their big season opening win against the Hershey Trojans. Now let's check in with some other York Adams action. Starting with Northeastern taking on York Catholic. Early going. Hakeem Kennard drops back and airs it out for Dan Yokomik. He hauls it in for a 31 yard gain. That drive would stall, but Luke Brennan boots a 25 yard field goal to go up 3 0. That remained the score until just seconds before the half. Northeastern driving. Connor Johnson fires and finds David Ankeny for the touchdown. And Northeastern goes on to top York Catholic 20 to 17. Big annual rivalry game between West York and Central York. Panthers down 20 to nothing, but clawing back thanks to Terrence Carter scampering for 25 yards and a touchdown gets Central York on the board. But the Bulldogs dig in. Check out this run. Noah Bauer zigging and zagging through the defense. Whoop! It's a 41-yard touchdown run, and West York is up big. And the Bulldogs kept their feet on the gas. Ross Campbell goes deep to Anton Johnson down near the goal line. West York goes on to win 41-20. It's a festive night in Red Lion. Thank you again, cheerleaders. Mike, for now, back to you. Thank you, Justin. More winners tonight on opening night. How about this? A heartbreaking loss for the York Bearcats. Redding squeaks past them 26-25. A couple playoff teams from last year. 
This one goes to Dover, however, 34-13 over Shippensburg. James Buchanan kicks off the season with a win, 33-19 over Hanover. Waynesboro, no trouble with Kennerdale, 53-7. Gettysburg, moving from the mid-pen back to the York Adams League, starts off the year with a shootout victory over Southwestern, 44-41. Redland, no trouble with York Suburban, a 25-0 shutout. Bermudian Springs went 10-2 last year. And the Eagles start off the year with an easy win over New Oxford. Littlestown won the district championship. They edged the Bub Bub Bubblers of Boiling Springs by five tonight. Newport and Fairfield, a couple small school playoff teams from last season. This one goes to Newport by a field goal. Elsewhere tonight, Northern, a winner by 20 over Susquehannock. East Penville, three touchdowns better than Palmyra. Conrad Weiser, a winner over Susquehanna Township. That's a little bit of a surprise that uh, Conrad would win by that much. Schuylkill Valley, easily over Susquehanna. Greencastle Antrim by 24 over Chambersburg. And Camp Hill has high expectations this year. The Lions start off the year with a win over Upper Dolphin. When Football Friday continues, we've got a humdinger between Hempfield and Lampeter Strasburg that goes down to the final play. So stick with us.